Alpha 10. Hello and welcome to the Ignite Youth Podcast here at Wayne Fleet BIC Church, where we discuss life through the lens of our Anabaptist roots. My name is Julie Adams and I'm joined by Pastor Wes Hillis. Hi. Welcome, Pastor Wes. How's it going? Great. And yourself? I'm doing good. You know, good. yeah, youth's going well. Things are going good. Awesome. Getting ready for uh, the Christmas season. Well, what do you, you know? know? It's almost are, here. People are putting up their trees and getting decorated and you guys decorate at your house yet? Um, well, we do have Christmas lights on our porch, but that was under Not allowed protest. to be inside yet? Not yet. Okay. Soon. I'm sure we'll okay. do it soon. But. Okay. Are you a December yeah. 1st person? Yeah. I do like to wait till December 1st. See, I'm not as as much, like, for you, I'm, like, yeah. after Remembrance Day. We can put things uh, up. I see. But, I see. Yeah. Oh, that's always been my tradition of, like, after Remembrance Day, you can put things up. I know some people are, like... Halloween is over at midnight and they're setting things oh, up yeah. like after that like it's now 1 a.m. and you're putting up a Christmas tree I yeah. know some people I know some people do it before Halloween wow. like Walmart that's um, wild have Halloween like Christmas things up like in September that's wild but it is what it is and yep. so yeah yes. and as uh someone once said to me we are perpetual advent people and so um this is very true. wise person but yes uh, ah! <laughs> That person was a, is, a, is a staff member here, so. Yep. Yeah, she is. <laughs> hope she Carry watches. On. Hope she Alpha. watches this now and hears yeah. you go, ha! <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, so today we are talking about how to resist evil and kind ah. of like, a little, we're going to talk a little bit about the evil of our world and that. So it's, you may mm-hmm. be thinking now, like, this is going to be weird and maybe a little dark and, and well, maybe. Maybe, but um, there's also some really good points that we need to talk mm-hmm. through and, and to really talk about. And so within the Alpha video, how we kind of started, there always starts with a story or someone sharing. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not what I want to focus on. What I wanted to focus on was um, kind of like the big idea for the video and the purpose of it. And this is what it says. There are three forces of evil in the world. Um, there's the world, mm-hmm. uh, you know, evil around us, the flesh, evil within us, and the devil, spiritual forces of evil. Um, and... The devil hates God and wants to destroy um, what's closest to God's heart. Mm-hmm. That's us. Yeah. Um, three of his primary w- uh, tactics are temptation, accusation, and lies. And we stand firm against the devil's attacks. Um, and more than that, with God, we can overcome this evil. Hmm. So we're going to talk through those three big points. That, like, what the devil yeah. uses. Because the evil that's around us, it's a bit out of our, con- it's, it's out of our control. Yes. The evil within us we can kind of we can work at we can work with we can we can try to overcome the devil is going to keep pushing things and so we're going to talk about the enemy and kind of what he does um and so one of the first things that we're going to talk about is temptation Mm -hmm. the devil will tempt you we see um the devil actually tempt jesus with no within scripture Mm -hmm. you know right after his baptism he goes into wilderness and after 40 days is tempted because i which i I find so interesting because he doesn't do it right away he waits till Jesus is, you know, like humanly weaker. Yeah. He waits, you know, he's hungry, he, he's thirsty, he's tired, alone. Of, he's alone in the wilderness and and so isolated, like, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's when the devil comes. That's mm-hmm. when the enemy comes. And I wonder for us how many times, you know, when we are in a place where we are alone or when we are, mm. you know, so tired from our day or weak feeling weak weak somehow yeah and that's when the temptation comes yep and so i think i think that's true for many of us that like when we're tired and we're weak when it's late we feel the temptation absolutely there and especially when we're alone i think is when we feel the temptation the most and so the devil is going to keep trying to tempt us over Mm -hmm. and over and over and over again and um i think we have to accept that like i think we do i don't think there's really is there anything we can do to um to stop the temptation I don't think there's. I don't think we need to stop the temptation. I think the temptation is always going to be there, um, mm-hmm. but it's it's um, putting measures or boundaries to yeah. help limit that. Yeah. And so I think one of the easiest temptations we can talk about like today is social media mm-hmm. and the things that you can find really easily on social oh, media. Yeah. And so it's actually you know being in charge of your algorithm or whatever social media yep. place you're using, what it's called, whatever it's called. Um, is being in charge of that. If you see a post you don't like, you're like, no, nah, that's kind of inappropriate. That's kind of tempting me in a way to click three buttons. Yeah. Say, I Walk. don't want to see this. Yeah. And and it will actually change the algorithm for you. And so that's a way we can control that temptation. If your temptation, you know, is to, you know, eat 
like because that, yeah. that is a temptation when, when we're stressed when we're late to, to overeat to indulge ourselves in a certain way mm-hmm. don't have that as many snacks or those kind of things around you or or put boundaries on yourself to where you're not going to put yourself in a position for those things well and some of those things that we do is i believe that we are going to something uh tactile something worldly Mm. when to try and fill a need yes so like boredom um Mm -hmm. or that's a great example yes yeah like when you're bored you Mm -hmm. scroll on instagram or you'll get a snack when you're not really hungry yeah but maybe what you should do is go to god for those some of those needs or go to community or something that is um like a, a healthier or a a productive no, absolutely yeah. yeah and i think that you know i think boredom plays a huge role into our our temptation or our things because so often we we're a culture that's very much wants to always be going yep always be entertained always be filled always be doing something and so when we have moments where we're alone and when you know mm. quiet time it, it hits us and we're like oh yeah. I, need, I need to do something i need to yep. and so there's different ways that we can help you know with that i don't just mean keep busy but set yourself time and boundary to be actually like if you're going to be alone do something when you're alone to where it's you know reading scripture if it's taking time prayer mm-hmm. of god or to listen to worship music Creating i find having yeah. worship music on the background at our home mm. so helpful absolutely yeah. so helpful I, I so helpful or a podcast that you really like yep <laughs> um that was <laughs> shameful plug <laughs> But, um, we have hundreds of episodes in yeah. our catalog. Just that start really at the bad. beginning. Um, <gasps> Could you imagine if they started at the beginning? I was like a long time, but, no, um, but anyway, I'll tell, so you, I'll tell you later. Okay. They were like pretty. Uh, it's always a little rough when you start out. Oh yeah, when we started out with the youth one. Oh, cool. Man. I was not podcast uh, <laughs> familiar yet. Not podcast and professional. Now look how far we've come. Yes, I'm only a podcast amateur, <laughs> um, but. Um, yeah and so and temptation plays in different things that we may ha- may have in our life like some people are tempted to drink more yes and and so having alcohol in your house may be too much of a temptation to, mm-hmm. to remove that Even we can remove temptations from our life excessive exercise um, oh yeah. smoking mm-hmm. like all kinds of mm-hmm. yeah and so there's many different things that we can we can do for that you know if your temptation of being around people and, and lustful things is too strong yep then you need to have, I think for that, you need to have an accountability person to help you with that, mm-hmm. to be with you. If, if you're going to be someone of the opposite gender, to have someone with you there to be like, hey, here for you. Nothing's going to yeah. happen. Like if you're feeling things, like let me know and we'll chat. Yeah. And I think that's super important. I think for any of our temptations to have an accountability person is, is super, super important. That's a mm-hmm. big thing about community is we need people to be there that can support us, but we can also support others. Yep. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so that's, that's temptation. And I think that... Um, it's something that's super important for us to be able to do. And if you're wondering why I'm looking at my phone, because I have scripture verses up here, um, <laughs> it doesn't kind of help with things. But the next one I want to talk about is, um, what is it called? Darn it. Um, like ourself? Nope, nope. No. There's, um, oh, accusation. That's oh, what it's okay, called. okay. Accusation. Because um, the devil has three lies for us. That, okay, like, okay. Temptation is one of them. Yeah. Um, the other one is accusation. Yeah. So, like, if, if I was the accusation, what's the first thing that pops into your head? Um, like, like making an accusation against someone is like accusing you or condemning you, mm-hmm. um, saying that you've done something wrong that you may or may not have done. It's a condemnation. A condemnation, right? yeah. Yeah, and the thing is, Jesus actually gives us freedom from that condemnation. Yeah. But the devil's going to keep plastering it. The devil's going to write it on our walls every yeah. single day, every single minute of just saying, no, you did this, you did this, you did this, you did this. Look how terrible you are. And the thing is, when we have, when we enter into this relationship with Jesus, he's, he's died for us. And those mm-hmm. things that we have done and things that we're going to do, yep. Jesus has already paid that price. To yeah. say. I don't like saying paid in that price. I don't like using a financial way of doing that. But he's given himself mm-hmm. so that we can actually find freedom. He sacrificed himself so that we can, you know, be free of these things. Now, God is great and merciful that even mm-hmm. though we keep screwing up and messing up, and we all do, we're all human, all of those as well and so when when the when the enemy comes you know really hitting us with those condemnations and those accusations to remind yourself that you, know, you have freedom in christ mm-hmm. that you that this relationship with jesus you actually have freedom that and thank god for you know yeah. for sending his son for 
for everything mm-hmm. that he has done for dying on the cross for us and and rising again and so there's so much there and part of me says if you want to do something that's really important is when those accusations when the condemnations come to flip it on them flip yeah. it on the enemy and say you know what yeah i, I have done this but look how much god has done for me mm-hmm. and look at where i am standing now and that's one of the one of the things is jesus gives us his power to actually overcome those things to overcome the condemnation overcome the temptation and to put it back on the devil and say you know what you got nothing on me yeah and that's something that's super amazing um there um i was i was learning about something recently called truth journaling have you ever heard of this no i haven't okay beth moore wrote this book about it i'll have to find the title of the book i haven't actually read the book Mm. i did another bible study that uh refers to it yeah but basically what you do is if you've got like that those thoughts like um I'm really terrible. Mm. I'm worthless. I'm never going yeah. to do anything. I'm this, I'm that, yeah, I'm that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You write them all down. Yeah. Um, just like even point form. And then you examine them like line by line. So you go to the first um, thing. Nobody cares about me. Hmm. Is that true? Yeah. And no. then you write okay, the yeah. truth beside it on another page yep, or somewhere else. And it's like, well, actually, that's yeah. not true because God loves me. And Jesus sent mm. his son. And then you write the truth to it and you do them step by step. And that's mm. sort of like what you were saying is like, like clap back at the enemy with truth. Well, you can, what, is that weird? <laughs> I'm just surprised you said clap back. Oh, maybe that's wrong. Is that not right? No, I just okay. love that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope there are some youth watching and I really hope your kids watch this. I really hope your kids watch this and look at Sorry. you like, really? <laughs> okay, well, what are you supposed to say? Now you're embarrassing just, me. Just answer back or just reply okay, back. Okay, you know? whatever. Because when I think of clap, oh, we're going to really. Yeah, go ahead. Let me know. Educate me. (laughs) When I think of clap back, I can only think of someone like in an argument and someone says something and so they clap back at them. Like that's what. (laughs) Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Okay, so so I misused uh, the term. I'm trying to be cooler than I actually am. I'm sorry. I apologize. Praise the Lord. (laughs) Stop. Oh, okay. Yeah. But no, I agree with what you're saying. Okay. You know, truth journaling, that is a huge <laughs> thing to do. Um, yeah. There's been times in my life where I've done something very similar, where I've written out those mm-hmm. those false things and put truth beside them. Yeah. And I think that's super important for us to do. I think, like, truth journaling, right? Yeah. Um, I think that's something we should all practice and mm-hmm. we should all do. It's, that's really it's good exercise, important. actually. Um, but yeah, when, when, when those things are happening to really work towards that, because... Mm-hmm. The thing is with you know temptation you know accusations mm-hmm. condemnation you need to have an active approach to it because mm-hmm. if we're just passive in it, it it's going to cripple us because we're, yeah. we're ultimately we're not strong enough to handle those things like we have yes we have you know jesus on our side and we have the holy spirit we're human and too often we fall to temptation or fall to condemnation because we're not being active into helping prevent it enough yeah. and um i think it's important that we need to be active so truth journaling super important accountability person super mm-hmm. important if it's, there's something that's tempting you in your life then you need to remove it yeah. um and and so yeah i think that like i think we have this understanding in our culture in our society and even in our christian I've, I've talked to many Christians who are like, yeah, I believe in God, but believing in the devil, that's like, that's weird. Like that's, and I'm like, what? Wow. And, but there's, there, that's true though, because we imagine the devil as this person that's like pitchfork, horns, red tights. Like that's what we picture. But it's like what uh, Trevor said in the summer. Do you remember that message where he's like, do you believe that I exist versus mm. do you believe in me or do you trust? I guess that was trust. Yeah. Maybe it was trust yeah. he was talking about, but yeah. like. Do you believe in, like, do you put any faith in the devil? Well, no, mm, no. but yet no, I there. sure do believe he exists. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I saw is this that what one. You mean? Yeah, I did. that's what okay. I meant. There's, I saw this one post and this guy, um, he's a bit of an actor. And mm-hmm. so he does like, he plays both parts on like his Instagram things or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he's a Christian. And one of the things that he did was, um, it was a conversation between a human and a devil, mm-hmm. human and the devil. And, you know, the, the human, and he starts with the human and he goes off and he's like, you know, I, Jesus, I tell you to get away from me and all these things. I believe in Jesus and the devil it just laughs at him. And he says, I also believe in Jesus. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between you and me right now? And the, and it was just, it was very quick and it was very short. And it kind of made me realize like how many of us are out there that say, you know, we believe or we do these things, but we don't actually live it out. Yeah. And we just, just kind of, we don't 
you know, active in our relationship. And so mm-hmm. it's super important for us. Um, and there's something I wanted to read after that. And it's from The Hobbit. Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> I'm a nerd. It's great. Um, We're a little all over the place but, here today. <laughs> but, okay, but okay. I think this quote has a deep meaning. And so it says, um, some believe it is only great power that can hold evil in check. But that is not what I found. It is small everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay, small acts of kindness and love. And I think that is very true, is Mm -hmm. that, well, we will affirm and we will say that, you know, the enemy has been defeated. Like, like God has defeated the devil. He's already won. Already won. But, you know, the devil is still coming at us and the devil is still trying to take as many of us down as he can. Yep. And I think that's really important to remember is that small everyday deeds of kindness and love and, and supporting each other is what matters mm-hmm. and, and we can look at the example of jesus um a story that's been really on my mind lately is um the story of lazarus mm, and yep. you know, lazarus you know dies and the family's distraught yeah. they're, they're they're terrible and jesus finally comes which they've been waiting for him they've been asking him to come mm-hmm. and he finally comes and he doesn't you know walk over to him done why are you guys worried he doesn't yeah. do that but rather he meets them and he sits with them and he weeps with them mm-hmm. he sits in the pain and in the sorrow and i think for us today when we're talking about evil and we're talking about these things to remember that jesus is with us still mm-hmm. sitting in the pain or sitting in the sorrow or in the temptation or in the condemnation and sitting with us being like I am here with you mm-hmm. we are all at one point Lazarus we gotta remember that mm-hmm. and so when we're sitting in the pain and in the sorrow or feeling like we are in death that Jesus is right there with us mm-hmm. and he's gonna raise us and, and I think that's an important thing to remember and so when it comes to evil and you know fighting against it and and these things which it's important to do it's a small everyday act of love and kindness going out and you know sharing love to someone and mm-hmm. being kind is something that's super important um and the final the final thing um that we have for you know like what the devil does is, is lies mm-hmm. he's the father of lies the father of lies yeah constantly said um and so there's something that's super important um is that we all will feel lives. And I can think this kind of comes with the accusation, the yeah, condemnation so as well. We will all hear lies about ourselves in our own head. Mm-hmm. We are our, are our worst critic. Yep. And, you know, the devil puts, you know, lies in our heads, I think, a lot. And when that happens, to base it off of truth, like kind of what you said, yeah. like truth journaling is super important. And one of the biggest things, and this is uh, Martin Luther King Jr. said this, he said, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Mm. Only, only light. light can do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Mm-hmm. And so when when we're filled with that darkness, you know, we need to drive it out with light. And where does our light come from? That light, our light comes from the Lord. Our yeah. light comes from Jesus. And so, well, truth journaling is super important. Mm-hmm. We need to fill ourselves with, with Jesus. Focus on Jesus. You know. Yeah. Are there something really important? Um, that I think and. You know, when we enter into a relationship with Jesus, you know, we're filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. I th- and there's so many times in my life when I've asked, you know, God, you know, fill me even more. You know, light me up even more. Yeah. Let's fill as much as you can. And there's been times where I'm in dark despair where I feel empty. I'm like, God, fill me as much as you can. Like, you need to take control right now because I, yeah. I can't do this. And and he does. And I think that's something super important to remember is that we can always ask for more. Mm-hmm. Like, God... God is definitely a father that gives good gifts. Yeah. Um, and so he always, always is giving more. Mm-hmm. And I think that's super important for us to remember because he wants us to win. He wants, mm-hmm. like, he doesn't want any of us to fall. Mm-hmm. He wants us to, you know, to flourish and to do well. And I think that's something that's super important is we can always ask for more. And so resisting evil, I think there's three big things we, we can take away from this. One, temptation. We need to surround ourselves in community. We need to have an accountability person to help with that. And so, yeah. Yeah, uh, sorry, something came to mind. Go ahead. Here. Oh, and the other thing that you use the example of Jesus being tempted in the wilderness, and um, 
his example is that he used scripture back mm-hmm. at Satan. So yes. he quoted scripture back. So knowing scripture, spending time in yes. the word is like yes. super important so that when you um, are tempted or hear an accusation or a lie, you can come back at it with scripture, which is truth. Yeah. Instead of no, absolutely. wondering. That's, that's, yes. And, you know, with, you know, accusations, condemnation to put them to truth. Mm-hmm. And the lies, you know, lies are darkness and and really to bring them to light mm-hmm. that's one of the things like i find we say this a lot actually um you know bring that lie into the light mm-hmm. don't hide it like that's a, I, I don't know i've heard that a lot yeah. especially growing up you know don't like a lie like stays in shroud and in darkness but to bring it to light um i find that really it interesting. loses some of its power it does that way yeah. and um and so yeah um finally one of the last things i want to leave us with um is where is it this is james 4 verses 7 to 8 and it says resist the devil and he will flee from you draw near to god and he will draw near to you Mm -hmm. god's always drawing near to us yeah and to draw near to god i think is something all of us need to do no matter where you are in your faith journey yep you may have grown up in the church and you're like i have a really strong relationship with jesus and you know what i'm still feeling tempted and i'm still feeling the condemnation i'm still hearing the lies Mm -hmm. we all need to draw closer to the lord all of us Mm -hmm. so yeah resisting evil it is tough because we're yeah. at spiritual war and it's something that you know we'll constantly need to keep doing man i feel like mm. we could have broken that up into three different oh we probably could have <laughs> probably <laughs> it's probably one of the toughest things we have to do as christians and as christ followers yeah mm-hmm. i would say so yeah because yeah. you could even look at john 10 which says you know the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy mm-hmm. i have come that they may have life and to have it to the full like mm-hmm. god wants us to have full life but the enemy is coming to destroy and to steal and to it's hard mm-hmm. and you know to resist is one of the hardest things yeah because we all know the feeling of temptation and how powerful that can be yeah or how powerful the condemnation can be on ourselves or the lies mm-hmm. that are within and so we know the power of these and they're crippling to the point of death sometimes mm-hmm. and so we know it's it's hard and I don't think we can say, oh, it's easy to resist. No, it's not. It's difficult. And But to partner with God in that and say, yeah. God, you are the one I am leaning on. You are the one I find my home and my strength in. Mm-hmm. And to continue with that. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Wes. Yeah. Well, thank you. If you'd like to get in touch with Pastor Wes, you can reach him at wes at wingfleetbic.com. My email address is julie at wingfleetbic.com. So thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you next week. Have a great week. Bye. <laughs>